Mark Daisy Show is brought to you over Broadband Box Office Network, produced at VK Media Studios, Pat Maruki, producer and director. We are archived on Facebook and iTunes and live every third Wednesday of the month. Hi. Oh, sorry. Just doing some reading. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. I'm Mark Dacey, and we're streaming live. I couldn't hold it back any longer. <laughs> we're streaming. In fact, I, I privately Googled myself, and, and that's why we're streaming right now. Well, I'm streaming. It started with a little Twitter in MySpace. I got caught on a, on a webcam and, and thought, well, why not? I was already wiki leaking, so, you know, whatever. Suddenly, Yahoo! I feel like an Amazon. <laughs> so, just cast my pot and, and sext me some of that virtual giga range, will you? <laughs> I'm just saying. We're rolling! <laughs> Isn't this fun so far? Well, I hope so. It's fun for me. This is our, our third podcast. It's very exciting. So I have a question for everyone. First of all, by a show of hands, how many have seen this podcast before? Okay, good. How many are virgins? Okay, and how many have not seen the podcast before? Doug. Okay. <clears throat> First of all, spread the word. Spread the word. We need a sponsor. We need a sponsor. Everybody knows somebody, okay? Every, come on. Granted, I, I'm not as large as a football stadium or, or an arena. I mean, uh, the Brendan Byrne Arena got sold to IZOD. I, I guess that means that they pass out free T-shirts, uh, you know, in, in the halftime or something. Giant Stadium went to MetLife, which is good because at the concessions, you could do, uh, Can I have a Budweiser? Uh, I'll have a hot dog with everything and uh, some of that term life annuity. Uh, no, down, down, to the right. Yeah, I think I'll, thank you. That would be good. And the Garden State Arts Center. The Garden State Arts Center. <laughs> well, that got turned into the uh, PNC Bank Arts Center, which I, I believe is an ATM in the back of every seat. It's only $3. That's pretty good. I'm certainly willing to change the name of the show. You know, I don't care. To say, uh, how about Hostess Cupcakes and Pies presents the Mark Twinkie Daisy Show podcast. He's soft in the middle. It's also soft. Up. No? Okay. Or, or, or BP. BP is proud to support Mark more wild than a Gulf oil spill. <laughs> Daisy. In fact, we love him so much, we're already gushing. Could, could do that. How about the George Zimmerman for Governor campaign? Proud sponsor of uh, the Mark. Hey, boy, come here. Show podcast. What can, what can I say about George? What can I say about six women who are afraid of a black man in their neighborhood? Uh, George is but just a big dick with a gun, okay? Uh, I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying. Speaking of big dicks, you know, we couldn't talk about this on the last cable show I had because every time I said big dicks, it was like this. Speaking of, so that's, I don't know. So I haven't been told I couldn't. Anyway, what's with the broken uh, telephone poles? Huh? What's, what's with the broken telephone poles? I mean, have you have you seen them? Have, have you ever, you, you've driven by them on the, on, on, the, on the side of the road? They're wrapped in yellow. Well, they wouldn't be on, in the middle of the road. At least they got that part right. <laughs> the telephone, the broken telephone poles on the side of the road. Yeah, and, and and they're wrapped up in yellow rope. Rope. <laughs> the power company wraps them up in rope. I mean, the phone companies have more technology than God. That is, if, if God were digital, like a matrix or something, because then he'd, he'd have to have more digits than us, obviously, because he's God. 
I don't know about that because my karma ran over my dogma. So I left that sort of in the pasta or the pasta, uh, which is hard to find uh, in the salsa. Huh? Not the salsa. That's a whole different, totally other show. It's on the Spanish network, but no. <sighs> anyway, topic for another show, note to self. <laughs> anyway, uh, really, I, the, 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 the phone companies, they, I mean, they have more power than God. They have more technology. I mean, they have whirling satellites traveling through outer space. They have underground optical light rays. They have, they have cell towers and, and microwave dishes and apps to find your grandmother when she's lost. Beep! And she's at the shop right again. Beep! She's at the old age home again. Beep! She's under the table drinking. Beep! <laughs> I mean, you know, can you... Satellite, sat, satellite niner, niner zero, KOD one four zero, transponding to grid uh, number eighteen and section uh, V twelve H fourteen, uh, Elm Street and Mars Avenue, uh, approximate uh, arrive time uh, thirteen minutes. Uh, coordinate uh, truck number eighteen, truck number thirty five, and then the, the the trucks arrive at, at at the broken telephone pole thing, and, uh, and Lester and Bob exit their respective vehicles. And they look at each other, and they both grab the yellow rope and tie it around the pole and leave. <laughs> That's the extent of it. I, I, I don't know. Edward Snowden discovers inside data, spyware, malware, and secret codes for sharing our phone messages with the National Security Agency. And what do what we lowly, lonely public get? We get the yellow rope. <laughs> Yes, I'd, uh, I'd like to report uh, that the lines are, are, are down, uh, the power is out, and, uh, and they're sparking uh, of the wires on the street. Uh, okay, thanks for calling, and uh, we'll send over some yellow rope right away. Oh, thank you, great technology power giant. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, speaking of great technology power giants. We have a throwback. Yeah, we have a throwback from the old show. You want to see it? 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 All right. We'll set it up for you. Follow those drums. Those wretched drums. When will they ever stop beating, Father? Not very presently, darling. Don't you have time for worry when they stop beating? Follow those drums, those wretched drums. When will they ever stop beating us? Not to worry presently, darling. Plenty enough time for worry if they stop beating. Oh, follow those drums, those wretched drums. <laughs> when will they ever stop beating mother? When? Don't worry now, my dear. Worry when they stop beating, please. Those drums, those, the, they stop. Follow the drums, they stop beating. What now, father? What now? Guitar solo. Sorry. <laughs> Technology. Ain't it grand? Yeah, well. My computer stopped working. It just kind of froze up. I did all the pounding and shaking that I knew about, and nothing. <laughs> Still wouldn't work. So I called up my service guru on contract. You know, $40,000 a year, and, and he helps me get the thing started again. He says, it's simple. Your access binary downlink is connected to an unregistered server, and the digital code word framework has been corrupted. So, all you have to do 
<laughs> is reboot your rheostatic inversion of the ninth dimension connected to a planetoid which has not been discovered yet because nobody knows about it. And I said, well, I don't know how to do that. And he says, or take a paper clip, unfold it, and stick it back into the bottom part of the black box. Go ahead. Presto, change yo. <laughs> Technology grand. I'm just saying. What? So what do we got? We got rope and paper clips and duct tape. And you know, and that kind of that works with everything. What kind of, Don McClay invented duct tape. He's here today. We didn't think he was going to. He's our he's a, our adjunct professor of photography and uh, owner of the duct tape uh, patent. That's why he's my friend. I get all the free duct tape I want. At the end of the show, we wrap it up. We literally wrap it up. It's funny. Right? It's, uh, okay. <sighs> Where were we? Oh, yeah. This is what I figure. We've got so much money in this country, so much research, so much going on. And I, I think that we're just wasting money on new devices and new apps that really we don't need. We really don't need them. The NSA knows where you buy your paper towels. For what reason? So that they can call up Scotty and go, look, I got some connections on, the, on, the, on where to, how many people are buying your towels and so forth. What's the, I don't know. What we need is real research. We need real research. If every time I do this, does it sound like at home? Hey, let's do Inagata de Vida. You have to be like over 45 to really get that joke. But anyway, all right, Don, that's enough. Uh, so anyway, oh yeah. So I, this is what I think. I, I think research ought to be a, a, appropriated to somebody who ought to look into extending the length of time for the orgasm. <laughs> can I just? Can I just sort of put that into public debate? I mean, am I right? Look, all, and then they give you a little tiny yellow pill. Bam! All of a sudden, you're up to 30 seconds. Wow! Now, that's an app. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. Oh, we still on? So, I mean, when you think of all, the, all, the, all, all that power and emotion and the ecstasy that people over the millennia have risked their, their reputations, that have, have, have risked their, their, their fortunes and their fames, their very lives for a climax, you ought to make it at least 30 seconds, don't you think? I mean, 10 seconds worth of, whoa! It's, it's, it's hardly enough. I mean, it's a force of nature, certainly, to be reckoned with. And I think it can be, like, messed around with. I think we can elongate it. Don't, I think. I think it would be a good idea. Yet with all this crazy, intense 10 seconds, all you get at the end is, is like a tiny little blurp. <laughs> That's what you get. I mean, don't you expect like splashes of color and, you know, more evidence based on the insanity of it all? No. Boop. That's all you get. <laughs> It's like the penis is embarrassed suddenly for bragging. You know, it's, like, <laughs> it's suddenly understated and coy. <laughs> it shrivels up and hides away. You know, it's like, hey, ah, ha, ah, ah. Then it's like, oh, gee, excuse me, sorry. I didn't mean that. Oh, later, I'm just going to lay down for a while, okay? <laughs> really, I'll do the research. Give me some money. I'll look at it and see what I'll report back to you. I say, extend, extend. That's an app. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, I got a song. Because Don says I talk too much and then there's no music in the show. So. Lily 
she floats on the bay. Gentle breeze can easily blow her away. A pretty power, yes indeed. She's never near in time of need. So don't you know, caught a pink flamingo. Pink flamingo. Everything I want has come today. She can be so hard on me. I know that she's soft on me. She calling, she calling, calling me into a night of tropical love. Ah, ah. Ow! song she used to be my credit card <laughs> I made a purchase and I said no it's absolutely wrong in fact the people didn't give me the service they were supposed to give me when I bought the contract online and so I called up my credit card company right away and I said please stop payment on this because it's wrong they didn't do the thing that they were supposed to do it and I said, yeah because they wouldn't give me my money back and my credit card company says nope <laughs> No, we're just here to supply service to the people that you buy things from. You are just a, a mere consumer. So I took the credit card and I cut it up, and it makes a great pick. What do you think, pink flamingo, huh? They're all over the place and they're pink. You know why they're pink? Because they eat shrimp that are, are pink. As, if they stopped eating the damn shrimp, they wouldn't be pink. But do they think of that? No. I found a tick on my dog. <laughs> I found a tick on my dog. So I removed it and killed it. First of all, killing a tick is like, these suckers, it's not an easy task. You can burn them or like swoosh them between two pieces of metal because they're like made of titanium or something. They're incredible. They're, they're a freak of nature. And check this out. This is their life, okay? They hang around in weeds for their whole life, waiting for a dog or a cat or something to, to walk by them, okay? Then they leap off their bush home and land on the dog, okay? Not only does it leap, but then it knows somehow that it has to move around the back of the neck where the animal cannot scratch it off. The tick is the size of maybe the head of this pen. Okay, the, the, the brain is like the size of a period at the end of, of a sentence, yet it knows that it has to crawl around to some inaccessible place on the back of the animal. How does it, I mean, who, when, the, how in the world, who in the heck, in this day and age, it, explain that to me. All right, this is the tick brain talking to, to the tick, I'm, I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, uh, tick brain to tick. Uh, get ready to leap, get ready to leap. Leap now. <laughs> Assess type of breed, phylos, genus, strata. Best place on this creature to suck it without being scratched off. 
wait for it, wait for it, ding, is behind the shoulder blades. Go, now, turn left, turn right, higher, lower, no, north two degrees, there. <laughs> now, implant and suck. <laughs> Do you see the little tick brain is, it's incredible. Unbelievable. And yet we, you know, who have like giant uh, uh, brains, you know, as compared to, to the tick, cannot find George Zimmerman or O.J. Simpson guilty of anything. <laughs> it's impossible. How do we do that? But to our credit, we did get Al Capone on tax evasion. That's right. Did I get mixed up? I have no idea where we are in this thing, you know, but, oh, I know we're over here, though. Nelson Mandela is not doing well these days. I wrote a song for him 25 years ago. And uh, it wasn't so much about him at the time. about him at the time as it was uh, about what he had done. So it is called All Good Things Must Come to an End.
needs to know Once a pharaoh said so Let it come Few of us are chosen Some of us blind Some of us frozen Going through the motions Every we learn Let it come Few of us are chosen Some of us burn Some of us frozen Going through the motions Must come to an end. Bam. <laughs> That's a good song. I like that song. I like that one. Yeah, that was 25 years ago. 25 years ago. I was younger at the time. <laughs> but Bonnaroo, sponsored by Rogaine, Metamucil, and Viagra. Are you sure you have enough life insurance? Depends. Bonnaroo. Get used to it. <laughs> it's gonna happen. No! <laughs> no, yes, it will. It's gonna, yeah. It's going to happen. Yeah, even the kids at Bonnaroo, man, they're going to grow up and they're going to, yeah, they're going to be falling down. They're going to grow up, they're going to fall down, they won't be able to get up. I'm just saying. Prepare now. That's right. Start chopping up your credit cards for the companies that you don't like when you have a free moment. Or not. So anyway, uh, songs for a maturing audience. I thought that I would just... I thought that I would just throw those out. Where is my notes here? Oh, yes. You say you're feeling slow. Behind the eight ball, things ain't what they used to be. <laughs> well, I have a pill for that. But for the rest of us, the rest of us, we have, for the rest of us, we have these songs. played the piano, then I wouldn't have to be tuning. Ha! For the rest of us, we, uh, we have these tunes. These, these favorite old songs, okay? These, these wonderful favorite old classic songs of yesteryear. Yes? Rejoice. Now, through this exclusive offer, <laughs> the old hits can be re-released. New lyrics to accommodate an aging, uh, more mature audience. Yes? The grown-up hits of yesteryear. Make them part of your future now. How about remembering this wonderful song by Nancy Sinatra? These boots give me arthritis. That's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots will give arthritis to you too. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Yes, the temptations are here too. Papa's got a kidney stone. <laughs> Most likely hit him on the throne. <laughs> and when he goes, all you hear him do is moan. Yeah, oh, Steely Dan. Mickey, don't lose that clapper. <laughs> it's the only one you've got. Roberta Flack. The first time ever I forgot your face. <laughs> Paul Simon. There must be 50 ways to lose your liver. <laughs> I, what can I say? Johnny Cash. No, no, Johnny Cash. I can't even read my own lines. It's Johnny Nash. <laughs> I can't see clearly now. My eyes are gone. <laughs> Oh, and let's not forget uh, Marvin Gaye. Oh, I heard it through the grape nuts. Yeah, I heard it through the grape No, I'll go him. Well, then let, let's not forget the, uh, the English invasion. Yes. Hey, hey, you, you, get off of my lawn. Get off. You can't. <laughs> you can't always pee. 
I know. Herman's Hermits. Mrs. Brown, you've got a lovely walker. <laughs> I don't know. I'm filling up time here, folks. Okay. Did I just spit? Did I just spit on my... I, this is my first spit on my third podcast, which is better than having a third spit on your first podcast. Let me tell you that right now. Turn to water. Shade of hair. <laughs> Jerry and the Peacemakers. Oh, who needs a song when you're, the name of your group is Jer- Jerry and the Pacemakers? <laughs> who? Who? Talking about my m- m- medication. <laughs> the Beatles. It's been a hard day's nap. And a hoo hoo. I get by with a little help from the pens. Mm. I don't know. Speaking of depends, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta warm. I, you know, I warmed you up, and now I gotta. Now I gotta bring you down, because we're at the end of the show. Except for the fact that I did bring. How are we doing on time? Uh, Pat Maruki, our illustrious director, will inform me. How how are we doing on time? We have a little bit of time left. Do we do we have one for for one more? Time for one more. Time for one more. Time for one more. I don't even know what camera one. One more. Yeah, we can do. The top country songs of uh, 2013. I mean, it is August. I know we're only like halfway through, uh, more or less. It's not August, is it? You know, it's just July. I don't even know what month we're in. Okay. So, the top country songs of 2013. Okay, I've just, I notated these for you, too. La, 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 la. If the phone don't ring, you'll know it's me. If the phone don't ring, you'll know it's me. That's number 12. A uh, number 11. How can I miss you if you won't go away? Way? <laughs> I liked you better before I got to know you so well. <laughs> no, I don't know. How is this? I'll marry you tomorrow. But let's honeymoon tonight. <laughs> I'm so miserable without you. It's like you're still here. <laughs> How about this one? If I first shot you, when I first met you, I'd be out of prison by now. (laughs) My wife ran off with my best friend, and I really, really miss him. She got the ring, and I got the finger. You're the reason our kids are so ugly. <laughs> her teeth were strained. No, no, her teeth were stained. Her heart was really pure. No, okay. <laughs> She's looking better after every beer I'm drinking. And the number one country favorite song of, ni- of 1913. <laughs> Yeah, what the hell? Of 1913. I ain't never been to bed with an ugly woman, but I sure woke up with a few. Well, I want to thank Don McClay for stopping by, owner and operator of the world's largest duct tape dealership. Duct tape holding the world together. That with yellow rope and paper clips. Show made possible in part by nobody at this point. But we are looking for sponsors, like I said, willing to change the name if necessary to include yours right in the middle somewhere if you like it. 
Uh, show uh, uh, certainly directed and produced by Pat Maruki here on the East Coast. Uh, VK Media. My name is Mark Dacey. Please uh, Google me when you can. Look me up. It's uh, markdacey.com. Can't go wrong. Get a hypertext transfer protocol dot with the two dashes in the thing. You know what I'm talking about. And then you put in my name.com. You can't go wrong. Find out what I'm all about, what I'm doing, where I'm going to be. You can drop by and see me. Adios, my friends.